to another exciting episode of What's in the Box. I'm Mork. Mindy. And we're going to dive right in this box. No more hiding things. I'm burying the lead. Go in there, man. Go deep. Mm. Get in there. Once again, Jason's using a... You forgot this. I always try to just... There's usually three Suck. sides, and still, every week... <laughs> Oh, oh, baby! Look at this. Oh, oh this is oh. classic stuff, kids. Oh. We're gonna play with some Dick Tracy figures this week. Let's get them out the box. Yes. Holy cow! I'll set them up. I haven't seen these since this movie came out. This ill-fated movie by Warren Beatty. All right, my brother, let me take you back on a little trip through time. The year is 1990. We haven't even made Clerks yet. But Batman just rocked the box office. Tim Burton's Batman. Warren Beatty was like, hey, man, this Batman seems popular. I think I'll make a comic book movie. It's a beautiful movie. Storaro shot it. This is a Disney movie, man. Warren Beatty what? makes this for Disney. That's their idea of, like, let's go after the Batman audience, as if it's the same thing whatsoever. Do you know anything about him? You know, he's the, you're, you're the guy yeah, that was like, I got to get a watch. watch. Yes. Something's going on. I'm on my way. That reason you wanted this, like, hello, I'm talking to my phone, is because of this guy. They did it in the comic strips, like, years ago, before anybody was anywhere close to making a two-way watch. A powerful, fully transistorized, Dick Tracy two-way wrist radio is a real electronic instrument. We need Dick Tracy to get, eventually, to Batman and stuff like that. So, you know, you honor him. He's a link in the chain. But this movie was, was misbegotten. Okay, kids, what we're looking at here is a table full of shit. Dick Tracy figures. Will Dick Tracy? Get there, or will it be in flat top? Get away. Nobody in the history of mankind or womankind has ever said, I want a Dick Tracy figure. Nobody bought these toys. Dick Tracy, figures, vehicles, and watch each sold separately from Playmates. The same company that made the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. And you know Playmates was like, we're gonna make that fat Kenner dollar bitch like the Star Wars. They didn't make anything. Look at these figures. Look, they're all bow-legged. I want to see if you can guess their names without looking at them, right? I'm gonna cover it. Okay. Who's this? Uh, that's his buddy, and I forget his name. Him. Prune face. Itchy. That would be lips manless. Did you ever see Sex in the City? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Pussy. Mr. Who? Mr. Pussy. He's just oh. got that. Blah, blah, blah. No, That's what he's yeah. all about right there. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Pussy. Would you please just stop calling it that? This? Oh, that is Big Boy Caprice. Look what you did to your pretty tuxedo. This would be the tramp. This figure was the most famous toy in this whole dopey line. He was a homeless guy. And it says, he's sticking up the sores. There's stuff writing on the back. Like he calls him an ignorant bum with kava. You'll smell him before you see him. And they thought it was cruel to homeless people. Corruption of minors. Mm, so you know, that, that's too. kid yeah. touching. Homeless advocacy groups protested and criticized the tramp toy. Uh, and it was pulled from shelves. This is the rodent. I am. This is uh, Dustin Hoffman. Big boy did it. Mumbles. <laughs> of course, that's Flat Top, who is Dick Tracy's Joker. Even though in the movie you didn't get a lot of screen time, they used Al Pacino as the main villain, Big Boy Caprice. You challenge me, we all go dark. There was one Napoleon, one Washington, one me. What's not reflected here is the breathless Mahoney figure. I was beginning to wonder what a girl had to do to get arrested. Wearing that dress is a step in the right direction. Madonna played that character in the Dick Tracy Ooh. movie. I bet she does some nifty undercover work. As we know, even back then, as with the Avengers now, they're like, girl figure, who'll ever play with that? And it's just dudes. Spoilers, I don't want to ruin Dick Tracy for you, but spoilers, if you haven't seen it, wait a few seconds, walk out the room, take a walk. One, two, three, four, five. Madonna is the main villain. She plays a character called the Blank. Get your hands up, Tracy. Don't move. You don't know that until the end of the movie. The figure for the villain, the Blank, was made, but it had a removable mask that gave away the big plot twist. There's her blank, dude. Yeah, there it is, but they had to take it out because then you knew that it was Madonna and you were like, oh, Dick Tracy spoiled for me. But I got news for you. If you watch Dick Tracy, it was also spoiled. Now, do you think that the actual figure, the blank, he's actually worth something? I don't want to take, no, yeah, the blank is. And I think the tramp, I'm not going to take the tramp out because I bet you the tramp's worth a buck or two. All right, he's open up. He's fell. Boy, that was difficult. Oh, yeah. Look at this. You know what? Normally, I'm always like, hey, fuckers with their packaging. Playmates, dude, in the 90s. There it is. <laughs> One, two, a three. It's like that commercial. One, two, three, 
three. One, a two, a Maybe three, a three. Maybe people didn't buy them because they were getting stolen left and right. Because you just pop them open, you put them in your pocket, and you're out the door. <laughs> That's why they didn't make money. Yeah. Warren Beatty made everyone a grotesque. Everybody's done something to make him a little bit monstrous. Dick Tracy had this big ass, like, square block nose in the comics. Yeah. But Warren Beatty didn't want to wear that nose, so he just had his normal nose. So but everyone else wears shit. He made everyone else put shit on their face, because that's what Warren Beatty does. Playmates just took the molds from, from some, some turtles figures and then made different heads. That's why they're all bow legged like turtles. I, see, I could see Raphael right here. In a little this. bit. Yeah. Right here, I could see Splint Rock Steady. But the good news is, in, since it's in the Playmates world, if you're a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, you could suddenly have more guest stars than they ever had. Yeah. Like, hey, Warren Beatty showed up in the sewers. Look at that. That doesn't look like Warren Beatty. This figure Not wouldn't get good, laid no. by millions. <laughs> At all. He doesn't get Annette Benning. Not this guy. He's bow legged like, I'm Dick Tracy. Wah, 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 wah. Oh. That whole Dick Tracy thing was just a bunch of people didn't know the genre. They didn't know. They were just like, oh, Dick Tracy. Batman worked, so of course Dick Tracy will work. Even the toys, they were like, ah, whatever. The toys can look like shit. Hey. Kids will buy them. They buy anything. Bullshit. The kids stood up en masse and were like, fuck your toys. Suck my dick, Tracy. But you know what? If they didn't have the courage to try for this, they might never have tried the Avengers or the X-Men. I'll tell you right now, though, the best thing comes out of this, man, right here. You get yourself a lips man list. That's a Paul Servino action figure, because Paul oh. Servino played this character. Not the bat! Not the bat! And you put his feet in the concrete and throw him in the river. That's what happens. All's fair in love and business. Benjamin Franklin. But we don't have to do that. That's if you're going to play Dick Tracy, and honestly, who wants to play Dick Tracy? With this, you could finally be like, now i got to turn my back on you. Now i got to turn my back on you. Like he gives you a couple hundred bucks yeah. after a lifetime, that's all I got. And he turns around and goes back to cooking a sausage. And he can use yeah. the Joe Pesci figure from the Home Alone line? Yes. And there it is, you're playing Goodfellas. If we could just get a Ray Liotta figure going. Flat Top, dude, is probably the most visually interesting of all the Dick Tracy characters. This is a dude who's just right for the job, you know what I'm saying? Because if he's down yeah. on his knees in front of you, you could put your ashtray right on top or of his head. Or your yam bags. Yes. yes. Well, why would your yam bags be on top of his head if your dick is in his mouth? Why? Well, you don't want to put your dick in his mouth. You just want your nuts to rest on something. It's like a oh, so you're just like my ultimate dignity. You kneel down. I'll rest my nuts on your flat head. <laughs> yeah, that's He's it. like, oh, I hate when people do that, Tracy. <laughs> this guy comes with a lead pipe, man. He ain't hey, fucking around. This, one, this guy's got like a Tommy gun. Like they weren't kidding around with these characters. He's got a club. This one, dude. Don't knock it. Like it's like a blackjack. Yeah. That, well, that's Sam. He's a cop. Fit. He's allowed to hit. They barely fit in their hands. So that's some shit. I mean, I, never mind that. This dude has a noose. Oh my god. <laughs> This is real justice right here. <laughs> He's like, come on, Dick, never mind the revolving door of jail. Let's just hang these fuckers. All right, so these guys all come with Tommy guns, billy clubs, pipes, holsters. Which is exactly what you want your kids playing with. Like, hey, Mom, I'm playing with my toys, and at the end, one of them will hang the other for injustices. Even Batman doesn't do that. This guy, I remember in the movie, he, I was, he has the only memorable line I still remember to this day. He says, 30 seconds, no more dick, because they set a bomb. And he was running out of the room. He goes, 30 seconds, no more dick. 30 seconds, no more dick. 30 seconds, no more dick. 30 seconds, no more dick is what my wife says to me whenever I'm finishing up. Yes. All right, how much would you pay for this crap, my friend? Each figure. Yeah. Back in the day, I would say there were... $9.99. Excellent poll. They were $9.99. Yes. How much do you think they go for today? Well, being that I said, hey, let's be shouldn't open these. <laughs> Um, four ninety nine. No, three ninety nine. Uh, they went for three to five bucks a piece each yes. on eBay. It's fifty dollars. Screen junkies will never get back. This blank figure that's okay. missing, the one that like is the good one, the Madonna figure. If all these go for three to five bucks a piece, how much do you think the blank goes for on eBay? Mm, it's hard to find. We don't have it here. I'd say two hundred bucks. I like how you think out loud. That's good. That's smart. I Sometimes just, you gotta say things out loud to help you solve it through it. Like, I think I could do this. Yeah. Um, bucks. You're wrong. $450. Ho ho! Right? It's wow. A, like, when has Madonna been that valuable, like, ever <laughs> in recent years? That's crazy. Remember we were talking about the tramp? Yes. How we're like, they pulled this from shelves. So, so I assume that this would be more valuable than the rest. Three bucks. On Three eBay. bucks. So we could totally take it out the box. Let's take, let him, let's do something no kid has ever done. We'll reunite the tramp with the rest of the toys, man. He was taken off shelves, now he's like, yeah, we're all friends together. Oh, you friends. stink it up the sewers and my balls. Fuck you. And he hits him over the head with a fucking piece of plywood. Ah. And he's done. Dude, you live in a really hostile world, man. He's got a little hole in his shoe where his toe's sticking out, and he's like, 
That's all, folks. And that is justice. You know, in terms of opening the box and finding things, I'm happy we did this, but it reminds me of a different time altogether. A time when, they, as you pointed out before, there was no Avengers. No. Dude, what's the first uh, successful comic book movie? Was it X-Men? No. You go back to Superman, Dick Donner's Superman. And then you got after that, a couple years goes quiet, and then Tim Burton's Batman. Then Schumacher killed Batman, and then everyone went running from comic book movies. First one step back, I believe, was Blade. I think Blade was the first movie where it's like, yeah, it's based on a comic and it's pretty badass. And then X-Men, that did well. Then next was Spider-Man. And that was the rebirth. So people were like, maybe we're back in the comic book game. And then Marvel came into the scene. Iron Man, Fall Wound, mm -hmm. you know, the rest is history. But this is from a dark period. This is the dark ages of history right here. If we're living in the Renaissance, this is the dark ages. Look at this. Dolph Lundgren's The Punisher. And you know what? Dolph Lundgren's The Punisher <laughs> is a little more, like, accurate. And I could sit through that again before I could sit through this. Was this before The Phantom? They're definitely uh, contemporaries. This was based on an actual... Well, the comic strip, the one that you open up in the papers on Sunday morning, you're like, Snoopy, the far side, and you skip to Dick Tracy. And they made the whole movie about Dick but Tracy. But wasn't the Phantom a comic strip as well? It was. What's your point? Why do you keep bringing, shoving Phantom down my throat? My point is, they decided to make this movie before they made the Phantom movie when they were both comic strips oh, back in the day. Oh, this is about the Phantom movie. Yeah, good point. They did. What, but honestly, that I would make before Dick Tracy. Because, like, that's a dude punching people and a dude yeah. in the mask, adventure and stuff. This is like set in the, like the 20s, the Depression and stuff. But without Dick Tracy having all his rogues gallery, that's where Batman gets rogues galleries from. He had it first, if I remember correctly. Thank you, Dick Tracy. Look at that. I have respect for what went before very well. Now let's shit on it a little bit more. Freeze, you three! That's five minutes into the movie. Then he's like, I'm gonna get this. And he grabs this dude. He's like, you got a nice purple suit and a nice mustache. Oh, I got a bag of money. I'll pay you this bag of money to come all over my friend's face. And he gives him the money and then he goes. <laughs> and then this dude comes over. You put the like, dick in Dick Tracy, my friend. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> hey, Sam, itchy butt fuck. Come over and help me. <laughs> On his watch, because he has the cool watch. I saw, I saw you. He comes over, he's like, yeah, let me get this to you. He goes, hey, come here. And shoves the fucking stick right up his bunghole. This dude's the last one here, and he's like, I'm the only guy here with glasses. I can't see shit. And he goes, fuck it. <laughs> Mrs. <With> Tracy a... <laughs> comes over. Tracy gets him. Yeah. Puts his ball bag right on his mouth and yes. his glasses. The end. That, you know what? Honestly, that was better than the Dick Tracy movie. <laughs> they should have given you, you the, the reins. Look at that. We've seen some crap come out the box. This ranks right down there with the crap. But I was happy to see it again, man. You know why? Reminder that I didn't fall for this shit because I bought everything, dude. But for some reason, I was like, I'm not going to invest in Dick Tracy. No. Well, let's see how it goes. I look at this. I'm just happy I never bought it. I'm happy I got to play with it, too. I get the best of both worlds. I just had to wait 26 years, and I got to play with him without having to pay for him. Yes. So fuck you, Warren Beatty. Yeah. I win. Mm. You like seeing us play with things that nobody wants? Right into the screen junkie man at their Twitter account at their Facebook page wherever get in touch with them carrier pigeon anything smoke singles stuff like that just get to them and tell them what you want us to open up and what you want us to reveal right here on what's in the box that's it for what's in the box kids I'm Kevin Smith Jason Mew come back next week man we'll tell you what's in the box what's in the box